type number two, foods prohibited by rabbinic injunction. This can be divided in two, uh, in two groups. Those based on a Torah verse, such as rabbinic in, uh, in intentions, to prohibition of basar v'chalav, right? So, so not, not to come closer, right? Git hanashe kilaim yain nesach, and the prohibition of chalav akum. So all of this we, we explained, the only one we did not explain yet um, is Chalaf Akum. So Chalaf Akum is, um, and, and uh, give us Akum. Uh, Chalaf Akum is a milk that uh, was milked by a non-Jew, right? And, it, and the second was the cheese that produced uh, by, by a non-Jew. So what is, the, what is the problem? So milk uh, that was milked by a non-Jew, I mean, we said, especially in olden days, so we concerned that uh, they would put some other other milk um, of non-kosher animals in there. So, and uh, in uh, in Europe, for example, it was uh, very popular to add uh, horse milk, right? What was horse milk? What is it? Uh, it was very fat, right? Uh, like a high percentage of fat, and it's uh, it would be used for a preservative. So it's like a, especially in olden days, they did not know about cholesterol and all of these beautiful things. Mm -hmm. That we are aware very much today of, right? So there is for them whatever. If it's fatty, it's good. If if somebody is is like a, like a chubby, right? It it's a, it it is a um, it is a statement of status that, that they they can afford food because many people were barely surviving, right? So if somebody fat, like they are rich, okay. Continue. Uh, oh, and the cheese, I apologize. And then cheese, uh, what, what, what is the problem uh, with cheese? So we said that to, to produce cheese, you need this enzyme, right? Uh, that uh, that start the curdling of, of the cheese. And it, it, so it, it could be taken from fruits, I think from figs, if, if I'm not mistaken, maybe, or I think from figs, or dates, one of them, or it could be the best is from... Uh, uh, from the animal stomach, from yeah, like some certain piece from uh, animal stomach, and even though it was from kosher animal, it from from uh, was from uh, uh, from the cow, but uh, this cow is a uh, is a nevila, right? Nevila meaning uh, they, they kill it their own way, non Jews. So it is uh, like at the outset it would be forbidden, and in our case, even if we take the, the same part of the animal. Right uh, to produce cheese, so it's uh, since it was uh, kosher to begin with, and it's not exactly cooking, so that's uh, that's how rabbis uh, allowed it. So that's why this uh, non-kosher cheese never allowed, um, never allowed. But milk is uh, uh, there is uh, some um, um, some leniency about the milk. Why, especially in a state when there is a government so supervision. So they're not going to to uh, uh, to, to mix it any like um, a, a milk from other animals. They they put so many preservative chemicals that are kosher. That uh, that's good enough. They don't have to risk their reputations. Okay. And uh, just so we know about this uh, um, cheeses, there is such as cheeses on the market. Just so you know. So. Um, uh, it's companies uh, I, that, that's what I saw in, in BJ's right it's uh, OK OK D so uh, it's uh, letter K in a circle it's OK right and uh, D means daily and on the bottom it says Halaf Akum so even though the, the cheese is kosher the last uh, stage of the cheese is kosher but it was produced from uh um, from the milk uh, that, that is, was not supervised by a Jew. Very interesting combination. Okay, so continue. Uh, continue, number two. Those, uh, those are not based on Torah verse. So we're talking about this rabbinic injunction. Those not, uh, those not based on Torah verse, such as Bishul and Pas Akum. Okay, foods cooked and baked by a non-Jew. So pas pas akum, it's, it's a bread baked uh, baked by a non-Jew. Okay, and foods uh, cooked by a non-Jew. Uh, stam yain, wine of non-Jew, 
right? And uh, food uh, consid uh, considered by Hazal to be dangerous. So we we list this uh, the, this foods because of the some some reasons. I would say just say they're dangerous. Okay, so that's all for uh, for summary. So I I, lo I love this book. He, this person was uh, is very organized. I'm not sure if he's still alive. Hopefully he is, and um, very organized. So he gives summary. He he gives A B C D. Like it. Okay. Mm -hmm.